Guys, this morning we are going to have a look at the RM1380. This is a 14 plus metre um, performance cruiser. Let's get on with the tour, shall we? As you know, I'll repeat it, if you're new here on the channel, RM are a Mark Lombard um, yacht design, so great pedigree. They are made with a marine ply and then have um, the uh, gel coat, resin, GRP, however you want to call it. Good discussion in the comments below is then added to keep the boats light, structurally strong um, and pretty fast. It's really hard down here to actually get you an idea of the chimes. Very, very beamy boats, but if you can see just about here, excuse my finger, your chime starts all the way there comes here and then you have a secondary chime here so once no matter how you get on the heel as soon as you're on those chimes super super stable twin hull so centrally like the others you have your life draft here and a hatch on top if you need to open it that way Two large lazarettes, port and starboard, which also gives you access to your steering columns. Once again, great composite wheels, like on the others. Step, as you know, no davits. This one's actually been set up with a moulding for an option. You'll see the hinge points here if you do want a bathing platform and they keep an eye out because there's plenty of public today they have chosen an option these guys are going offshore so they've had a stainless steel arch made and ready this one's actually really nice a lot of them are ugly but this one's been stepped back really nice and obviously you'll have your solar panel and all your other bits and pieces on top very nicely done this is an option i like the non-slip but this is an option is to have the resin infused cork it's a nice product a lot of companies that do recycled cork very low maintenance easy to keep clean and is non-slip you also have the option like we saw on the other rm if you haven't seen that i'll leave a link up here for it where you can have your steps either side so when you're on the hill you're not going to lose grip. Large lazarette on gas struts. As you can see, emergency steering. There's your helm. So your cables run down the helm block, which is in aluminium, all the way forward. That connects both helms. And autopilot is in there somewhere. And then you have a solid aluminium tube going down to your rudder. They're not worrying too much about those sea pandas. We know all about those, don't we? On this channel. Shower here. And gas storage is here on the port side. Deck management. Obviously you have your line here, as was with the other boat. And that comes to your main sheet traveller. And then the same over here. There's people wanting to get on, so I shall start on the starboard side. Manual bilge pump. It's just over here. And your water fill is, well, it's just there. Um, Volvo Penta on off, you know, rev counter, throttle controls. Raymarine which, as you guys know, is my preference. Uh, chart plotter, bow thruster here. It would actually be nice to have uh, autopilot up on here or wind repeater, but that's just my choice. This clutch here is for your adjustable backstays. And keep the camera straight. Up we go. And your sheet winches 
uh, here. So you have two, both port and starboard. You have a Harken um, 52 speed self tailing winch. Pop over to the port side. Once again, there's your winch main sheet. This one, unlike the other one, as you can see, is not as far aft on the boom. You can change that if you want. And there's your three inline reefing. On the port helm, which you have autopilot, wind instrument, however you want to configure it. It's difficult because you know me, I love compasses and that's great, but I'd rather have the compass mounted on the table centrally and then have another chart plotter, autopilot, wind instrument. But it's your boat, configure it how you want. Nice, large cockpit area. Obviously grab handles on the table and the wings of the tables come out as we've shown on the other RMs. Very comfortable. Not a bad spot to be. So what we'll do is we'll actually tour around the outside again. Further jammers. There's your um, deck management system. Everything can be done from the helm. It's one of the things with um, RM. They're sporty boats. So you can manage it single-handed or with a crew. Once again, great deck handling system into a clutch to the winch so anything can be brought back there are there is non-slip i love the non-slip paint they use it's really really good handhold on the spray hood there's a little bit of a reach to your next one on your cabin top it's not too much of an issue and you have side access both starboard and port onto the pontoon we ran over this system earlier they have a, a halyard attached to it at the moment as i said if i can get out on maxime's boat for you in the spring maybe run over it with you sometime i think it'd be really handy repeaters on the mast this is a 14 meter boat where the one we looked at earlier is a 13 meter uh 12 meter i think have a look at the specs the boom and lazy bag is obviously much higher on this boat but it's still manageable so if you have to flake the sail on your own you can it's not too much of an issue. On the mast, we have our Rain Marine repeaters, wind instruments, Vang, and as you can see, everything runs deck management system all the way through to a big bank of clutches in the cockpit. Inboard, outboard shrouds. And I think what can be considered now with RM is their signature saloon windscreen. I think it's really cool. It's loads of lighting. They're not flush hatches on these boats. I know everybody loves flush, flush hatches. Um, they tend to leak more than these do. So I'd rather have my hatches a little bit more proud. It can be a pain in the bum with, you know, jib sheets or genera sheets. Sometimes they can get caught up, but there are ways around that. Bow sprit, uh, it's not a fixed bow sprit, um, but you have a single barrel roller. And as you can see further forward, you have attachments for your codes, um, sails, Jenica, um, Spinnaker, whatever. Captive or inboard uh, Lumar windlass, self draining. And in here, have access to your chain locker. Um, sail locker or fender locker as you can see it's absolutely chock-a-block um, with fenders at the moment and here you have a watertight 
bulkhead. The boat is set up, as you can see, with Jib and Genoa. So here, you can see the deck management pulleys I was talking about earlier. Butterfly and a primary Harken 60 self-tailing two-speed electric winch. And up here, your secondary is a Harken 50 um, self-tailing winch. Here is all your um, clutches. Give you a little bit of, um, here you have second reef, first reef, Genoa, so on and so forth, Jenica. A Raymarine repeater, chart plotter. Raymarine autopilot. Once again, a Harken 60, um, two-speed self-tailing winch, and a 50 here. And as you can see, another bank of clutches. You can see everything coming through there. It's pretty self-explanatory. You have a very good view from here. I should have filmed it, but there's a really good view from the helm too. And underneath, not sure I'm going to be able to open it. You have storage for all your tail ends. What we're going to do is tidy up a little bit for them. There we go. Obviously under here, um, small tail end storage and somewhere to put your washboards. Companionway hatch. Keeping it the same as the smaller boat, you have three small steps inside and both port and starboard there are grab rails. Give you, oops, give you a quick pan out of how much light there is on this boat before we go around. Pretty much same setup as the other boat, but obviously much, much bigger. Port side, you have a, a double cabin. These are the solar panels for the arch. As you can, I don't think they're fully, <laughs> don't think they got time um, set up properly this morning. As you can see, there's plenty of storage under the bed. Something I didn't point out on the last boat, they got sail bags and sail storage underneath. It is a double but the difference between this within, I think it's about a meter, meter and a half in length in total, but obviously you get another um, three quarters of a meter beam to a meter beam in this boat compared to the other. Obviously the bed, you have extra storage down the side of this bed now, and that will be the same starboard side. Great port light windows and ventilation aft. Double hanging locker, I won't open them both. And handy, I quite like it when boats do this, boat manufacturers do this. Handy little spots, you know, when you just want to chuck something down and not lose it. Coat hook, towel hook, whatever you want to call it. To give you an idea, um, head height in this cabin, I'm 5859. It does get higher as you go forwards, but if you're 6'2 plus, uh, it's going to be a bit of a squeeze for this aft cabin, but there's loads of space and you have another ventilated area there. Same as her smaller sister, you have access to mechanical space here. Cell drivers down there. Your mechanical space, there's your Volvo Penta. start battery obviously you have um, well twin alternator on this boat um, I think they're both 24 volt I will find out and fuel scrubbers there's your um, salt water filter at the back We'll come out, we'll do the galley while we're here. Once again, a two gimbaled burner stove. I should imagine you can have enough solar panel on this to have induction if you wish. 
and obviously you have the same storage down the bottom fridge freezer fridge fridge again it's pretty standard nowadays nice Corian worktops and slide cupboards I much prefer slide cupboards some of you may think it's old-fashioned but have a little shelf there stop crap falling out they're very practical and these are your main saloon windows there's an opening hatch here for when you're cooking ventilation those are those two big forward windows and some more here right a dual stainless steel sink hot and cold fresh water quite like the salad washer um, salt water pump is just down here and once again you have plenty of storage underneath your sink and this owner has gone with the top loading cool box or they're actually having it as a freezer very practical good freezer space beer space more beer with a baguette sandwich there we go set up for the month top lo <laughs> top loading bin extremely practical and there are some nice fiddles on the worktop plenty of storage self-closing and once again Bonjour. This one has been set up as a double. You saw how it was on the other end of the other RM with the single and storage. If you haven't, I'll leave a link to that up here um, in the corner. Once again, it's a good double. Um, you have that storage down the side, storage down here. These guys are obviously going on extended cruising washing machine and here the cloth um, eyes forward and aft clips access to your outer hull through hulls little bit of storage and your heater and then coming over I won't open this because the bed mattress is in the way. This gives you access to fuel tanks, um, your Victron electrics, bits and pieces. And once again, you have more access to your engine compartment behind the door. And just out from this cabin, side you have your day heads, um, Jabsco electric flush. You can have it manual if you wish. Sink hot and cold water there is storage behind here and a wall mounted um, mirror the difference between this and the other boat we just looked at is you do in fact have a separate shower there are handholds in the toilet and the shower which is a brilliant idea so more yacht manufacturers should do that i'll come into the shower okay in here there is loads of headroom uh, my arm is pretty much nearly fully stretched and you know i'm not a small person um, i can get my arms out there is room to move about in this shower so you know if you're a bigger guy or girl there's space for you i'll just come out of here and then we will do the nav station and saloon starboard nav you have storage underneath and access to bilges your heater mains plug like the other one there is vented storage underneath the seat your remote um, autopilot same digital uh, management systems for like water electrics and so on and then obviously your main switch panel mains plug um, VHF and you have your red nav light and a handy little storage area in there nice um, nav desk 
there's room for folded paper charts and you know if you have dividers and so on other bits can go in that side from the other boat as you can see you can have this one oh, set up so you can have um, you know chart plotter or a computer monitor and so on on here as well heat controls and huge port light windows more mains plugs starboard side you have a really nice comfortable u-shaped sofa compared to other pr production boats look how thick that cushion is and it's a really nice material and they've kept it on the edges so the finishing off i think it depends on what options you choose but the internal finish on this boat is really nice large u-shaped settee here i reckon you could fit one two three four five six maybe with a, a chair there seven people around on this table which is very respectable and I'll just move these out of the way. Once again, wouldn't be a boat without bottle storage, would it? Mask compression post. This one's been wrapped in leather, which is quite nice. And we'll come through. There is a step down into the owner's suite forward cabin, which is okay. To the starboard, you have your own separate heads. It's a Jabsco electric flush, uh, fresh water, obviously, and your your own, you know, hot and cold water, and access to your black water tank. Was that fresh water? I'll find out from the manufacturers because things are all over the place on this boat. I'd say it's black, um, rather big, but you know. Is what it is and then over on the port side you have a very large module you have a very large separate shower and we'll get into this one some nice mirrored cabinets and then as you can see you close the door there is loads of room in this shower and once again I'll give you that height difference um, you have an opening hatch just up here for all that steam and a frosted um, closed latch but you can see if you pay for the option you can have this opening too so your choice it's up to you and then a semi island double berth which is really nice Hanging locker, and this goes all the way outboard. So they're maximizing the beam as much as they can on the boat to give you as much space and as light as possible, but also keeping the weight of the boat down. A couple of nice port lights, there you go. There's your chain plate again. There's obviously storage down where the blinds are. You have storage forward and your reading lights. On both sides of the bed, you have these drop trays. There is a plug. Nobody seems to have gone for the option for USB charging. I would get into bed. You can just plonk your phone down on the side, have it charging away. And there is your second hanging locker. Come out of here. Let me know what you think. Um, if this sort of boat's for you, once again, it's a, a performance cruiser. It's comfortable, it's fast, well made. It's made here at La Rochelle. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.